All right, so in this transmutation problem, we're going to have aluminum 27 um, interacting with uh, this helium 4, um, and it's going to produce phosphorus 30 and something else. So one thing we want to do is we can look and say, well, what kind of radioactive process is this? We see two reactants. Okay. So if there are two reactants, it's either going to be bombardment or, or electron, electron capture. Okay, it's going to be one of these two. Now, the uh, special particle that it's uh, bombarding in this case is an alpha particle, right? So that means uh, because it's not an electron, this is bombardment, okay? So this is a bombardment process. Now notice, it is, as I said, it's an alpha particle. So don't think, oh, there's an alpha particle, it's alpha decay. It would be alpha decay if alpha if the alpha particle was produced by the radioactive interaction. In this case, the alpha particle is being used to uh, slam into, so to speak, the aluminum 27 isotope, uh, the nucleus of aluminum 27. So uh, now um, let's actually solve this and figure out what the mystery uh, item is. Okay. So I'm going to do my idea of conservation of mass number and conservation of atomic number. So with mass number, it's 27 plus 4, 27 plus 4 equals 30 plus x, x being my mystery item. So this is 31 equals 30 plus x, so x equals 1. Now, I want to do the same idea, but conservation of atomic number. So I have 13 plus 2, 13 plus 2 equals, equals 15 plus x. Well, this is 15 equals 15 plus x, um, and so that is uh, x equals 0. So you ask yourself, okay, well, what, uh, it's not an element on the periodic table if it has an atomic number of zero. So let me think through my special particle list of options. And something with no atomic number, but it does have one atomic mass unit, that would be a neutron, okay? Um, so when aluminum 27 is bombarded with an alpha particle, it produces phosphorus. Uh, and a neutron. 